and it's been an amazing journey to make it happen all the way here. We are a grassroots campaign and we're all volunteers, it's been a lot of work, but we're here. Um, I, one day we ask is the story of a simple Facebook post during the Tory conference 2016 made a difference to a lot of people. And now I want you to introduce you to the person who posted the famous call to action on Facebook in October 2016. Uh, this is Matt Carr. Thanks, Laura. Hey, everybody. Um, thank you very much indeed for coming. Um, it's awesome to see so many people here from all the organizations that have supported us so that they've come today. Um, I want to particularly thank uh, Migrants' Rights Network and Unison and Open Britain, who were crucial in, in many different ways in helping this rally happen and in many other things that we did. Um, we're here to support people who have been put under severe pressure in the last 18 months. We're here to celebrate the participation of migrants in our society, the presence of migrants in our society, the contributions that cannot be measured in any audit sheet that extend into every single community, every neighborhood across the country. We're here to celebrate that, to remember that, to honor those people. We're here to show solidarity. And we're also here to remember, as we celebrate, there are people being placed in detention, unlimited detention, because we're the only country that has unlimited detention in the European Union. There are migrant workers who cannot fight to improve their wages and conditions because they risk deportation if they try. Um, there are families who are permanently separated, parents who can't speak to their own children except through Skype because of our family spousal laws. We remember them and we're here today to say that we do not want a hostile environment. We do not want a hostile environment directed at migrants. It demeans us as a country. It places people's lives under threat and under constant unacceptable pressure. So we're here to say, and I'd like to hear you say it, proud to be a migrant. 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 Proud to stand with migrants. 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 Thank you, everyone. We're going to take a picture now for the unifying action at two o'clock. So we're going to do that right away. If we can all bunch together against the wall, and we're going to try and organise this for the unifying action, in which members and supporters of this campaign across the country in more than 60 events will be posting pictures of themselves at precisely two o'clock. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, thank you guys. This is actually uh, OB, Occupy News Network. And you can see, uh, well, the clock tower over there, surrounded by scaffolding. And, uh, oh, so a lot of people. It's actually the Philippine Domestic Workers Association, United Kingdom. Defend the rights and welfare domestic workers. Uh, I think it's uh, one disadvantage with having a really bright sunlight. Uh, it casts really big shadows. Sorry. Thank you. Are you the photographer? <laughs> yes, pardon. <laughs> okay, so how do we do this? Ah, yes. Too long, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So a few flags here celebrating migrants in the UK. Seeking rights is another crime. <laughs> and uh, we're just waiting around. It's uh, going to be uh, what time is it? Whoops! Can't see. <laughs> can't exactly see the time anymore. <laughs> Anyway, uh, there's going to be a banner drop at 14:30 uh, hours, so that should be fun. Okay. Thank you, guys. And anyway, this is Obi, Occupy the Network. Peace out, and we will be back soon.